All I'm saying is the facts reported in the New York Times article come very close, if not crossing the line, with respect to treason, if those facts are true. We need to find out what's true. Strong words from the chief ethics lawyer for former President George W. Bush in the White House about just how legally significant this meeting between Donald Trump Jr. and this Russian lawyer really is. With us to talk about his claim is Richard Painter, who now teaches law at the University of Minnesota. Also with us, our friend Paul Butler, former federal prosecutor who focused on public corruption while at DOJ, prosecuting a U.S. senator and FBI agents, among others. For his part, he he teaches law at Georgetown. Uh, so, uh, Richard Painter, what, as it has happened, as alleged in the New York Times, what is illegal about it? Well, we now have even more information. We are told uh, that Donald Trump Jr. Uh, received an email informing him that the Russians wanted to help his father's presidential campaign. He was also told that the Russians had derogatory information about Hillary Clinton uh, before the meeting. At that point, any loyal American would have called the FBI, because we know how the Russians get derogatory information about people. It's the way they've been doing it ever since the 1917 Russian Revolution, by conducting espionage and trying to destabilize Western governments. And they've been trying to do this to us. He would have called the FBI if he'd been acting responsibly. But instead, he goes to the meeting, and he brings along to the meeting, apparently, Jared Kushner uh, and uh, Mr. Manafort, the campaign manager. So we've got the top three people, the top brass of a political campaign at a meeting, and we're supposed to believe that nothing happened yet. That's my answer to that. <laughs> we know. Professor we Butler. Know. Professor Butler, what, uh, how does this compare if the Clinton campaign was trying to work through local folks to get the uh, now infamous Trump dossier, would that have been the same thing in the eyes of the law as this? We're still all of us getting used to the notion of Russians having anything to do with American politics, of course. That's right, Brian. So it's a federal crime to solicit a contribution from a foreign national. Trump Jr.'s defense is he went to this meeting. We now know that he knew he was meeting with a Russian operative. He says, but when she didn't deliver the goods, that's when I got up and left. Well, guess what? That's still a federal crime if you solicit, if you go trying to get information, dirt on Hillary, from someone who's not allowed to participate in our election process. So soliciting doesn't mean a dollar amount necessarily. It can be something in kind? The statute says a thing of value, which can be money or a service like opposition research. Uh, Richard Painter, because I heard uh, some lawyers bring it up this evening, and I think this is a term of art that we'd better learn now, can you please explain to all of us consciousness of guilt as legal terminology and how it might play a role in this case of Donald Jr.? Well, first of all, we're, we're told that the uh, Russians didn't deliver the goods at this meeting, but we know that the Russians delivered the goods big time by November. Uh, and uh, we are now learning for the first time of uh, contacts between not only people in the campaign, but the very top people in the campaign and Russian agents. And to criminally prosecute someone, yes, you do need to show mens rea, uh, some intent on their part to commit the crime at the time of the crime, if they knew that the Russians had obtained information illegally uh, about uh, Secretary Clinton by uh, hacking computers, by engaging in espionage inside the United States, it would be a crime for them to meet with the Russians and participate in that conspiracy. As Professor Butler pointed out, it is also a crime to accept uh, contributions in kind as well as in dollars or rubles or whatever from a foreign government or a foreign national of any sort. And this was clearly assistance from the Russian government being offered to the Trump campaign. It needed to be reported to the FBI. I am very concerned about this, and I do not buy the story that President Trump at the time didn't know about. It. It's his own son, it's his own campaign manager, it's his son-in-law, all three of them in the room with a Russian agent, and uh, uh, they are, uh, appear to me to be violating the law. It's a very, very serious situation. 
Uh, and the White House is not uh, taking this seriously at all. Uh, I think we have a lot more to learn about this uh, over the coming weeks. Professor Butler, if you're Mueller, and you open your New York Times or the lid of your laptop or look at your phone and you see tonight's story, what's going on there? Well, a couple of things. You're keeping your eye on the big kahuna. So President Trump himself seems to be a subject of this investigation. There's no way that a prosecutor who's naturally skeptical and suspicious would think that Trump didn't know about this meeting. So again, it's the president's son, his son-in-law, and his campaign manager meeting with a Russian operative around the same time that President Trump, then candidate Trump, is saying, I sure wish the Russians, if they have information about Hillary, would deliver it. So they go to a meeting with the Russians and they don't tell him? Again, I think Bob Mueller's going to have a hard time believing that. And then he's going to wonder, well, why is everybody lying about this? So that's when he pulls Donald Trump Jr. into the grand jury or at meeting with an FBI agent, you know, he's never testified under oath. Unlike Jared Kushner, unlike Michael Flynn, he didn't have to get a security clearance. So he's not on the record. They get him on the record and then they proceed from there. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.